Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars Empire Knights, your source for all things Star Wars. I want to go ahead and welcome everyone and please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, smash that alert button as we go ahead and bring you some of the latest news that's going on around Star Wars. So uh, the latest news is dun dun dun, Palpatine was a clone. That's right. So over the weekend, C2E2 was going on in Chicago, and an insert was uh, taken from the book that's coming out from The Rise of Skywalker that will be coming around, arriving this month in March. Yes, we're, we are actually in March, so as we record this, we're on March 2nd. So uh, this month, the book debuts, and an insert from the book that was screen captured was uh, talking about that Palpatine, Darth Sidious, his entity was saved inside a clone body. Now, for for those that don't know, um, this is a complete shock. Like, how, how was he a clone? Like, how did this happen? If you're a comic book fan, you know that this series, I mean, that the, the Palpatine being a clone was something from Deja Vu. <laughs> well, uh, let's go ahead and, and let's go back in time. Okay, so let's go back to a time where we're wanting Star Wars, we're, we're missing Star Wars, and fans are pretty much doing their own things as far as trying to keep this love of Star Wars that came out in three films, and uh, we had a couple of Ewok episodes, and uh, trying to to see if, if Star Wars would ever make a return because of the way George did these episodes four, five, and six. So there was a time, kids, that Star Wars wasn't around, and then uh, fans started getting together, and a publisher, a, a small publishing comic book in the early nineties. Uh, was starting to really gather and get momentum and even got a license to Star Wars. That publisher was Dark Horse Comics. And Dark Horse uh, wound up saying, well, you know what? We're going to do this story. You know, we got Star Wars now. Let, let's do something. Let, let's, let's, let's see how we can bring this back. So the first story to come out was Dark Empire. Dark Empire is a Star Wars comic book uh, meta series produced by, of course, Dark Horse Comics. It consists of six issues limited series written by Tom uh, Vitek and uh, drawn by Cam Kennedy. Now, this was followed from a um, from a second uh, six issue series, of course, that was um, uh, the Dark Empire Two. So uh, these issues came uh, came out, but I, I believe that one was drawn by Jim um, Baki. Uh, now the initial series uh, is notable for being one of the very first Star Wars comics to be produced by Dark Horse Comics, who had acquired the com the comic rights to Star Wars franchise in the early '90s when they acquired them from da 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 Marvel. So. Um, this began the expanded universe of Star Wars. This is what we what we refer to as EU, which looks like Lucas and and um, and Disney are now trying to go back to the EU. Well, it would have been cool if they involved this part of of Palpatine being a clone, because in the Dark Empire series, where we saw a, a young, I, I, I want to say like twenty five year old. Um, Palpatine come back, uh, of course, still with all his knowledge, his entity he was still alive, uh, was able to seduce Luke to the dark side. But with the help of Leia, Luke was able to be able to come back and, and, and get away from the dark side. Um, but in that series, Palpatine was a clone. And it looks like Rise of Skywalker did try to incorporate that. So the emperor that we knew that died in the Death Star truly died. And in the scene in the movie in Rise of Skywalker where he says, I have died and I have lived again, it's true. And we now know because of this insert that's coming out in the book that he, he lived because he was a clone. So Emperor Palpatine 
uh, Darcidius actually died on the Death Star. So that's really great to know because it doesn't uh, water down what Luke and the Rebels did in in uh, Return of the Jedi. So I, I, I love that move. I, I love that uh, they kept it right there. But, you know, Palpatine did get reincarnated into this clone body. Of course, we know by the clone technology. And here is where the Mandalorian kind of comes in. This is my own theory. I'm just shooting at the wall. It's it, No one's said anything. But remember in the Mandalorian where they take baby Yoda away and that scientist uh, takes him away and he's sleeping on the table and then, um, you know, Mando has to go find him. What if baby Yoda or the kid his blood or something that was taken from him or extracted from him was able to complete Palpatine's clone. That would explain why the kid, Baby Yoda, was so valuable to the Empire. Because they knew that Emperor Palpatine's, uh, his, his, soul his 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 whole being was still saved into this clone so it, it it's something that definitely comes out from the comic books definitely shows you what um john favaro uh dave filoni had talked with jj abrams when they were doing rise of skywalker and developing the mandalorian and this could be a cool way of tying it and in a way, saving grace in in the fact that you know, Rise of Skywalker wasn't the greatest of films. I I, I like it better than um, the Force Awakens and uh, Return of the Jedi. So um, no, by no means is it better than the original trilogy or the prequels. <laughs> that's my opinion. That's my opinion, and that's that. I'm a Star Wars fan. I I still like these movies. It's just that Return of the Jedi is just the last one. <laughs> so, um, but wouldn't that be really cool that when we see Mandalorian in season two, that we see this where the kid, Baby Yoda's, whatever was extracted from him, leads to Palpatine coming out. I think it's it's something great. It, it connects it, um, and I think it just adds a little bit more value to to Rise of Skywalker movie. Um, so yeah, so that that's something that we just learned over the weekend um, uh, for what's coming in the book that we're going to learn that uh, confirmed that Palpatine was a clone, and we, of course we saw that with um, with what he did with uh, Snoke. And I, I would, it would be really cool if Snoke's body was actually Darth Plagueis's. That would be really cool uh, if if they try to connect that or, or anything close to that. But um, just throwing it against the wall that that's maybe a possibility of of how this came came to be. So stay tuned to Star Wars Empire Knights. Got a lot of cool stuff going on. Excuse me, I have allergies, but. Uh, Stay tuned to the next episode, and of course, we're covering the latest episode of The Clone Wars. Don't forget to like and subscribe, smash that alert button, and we'll definitely get you caught up on all the latest Star Wars news. Take care, guys, and may the Force always be with you. The Force will be with you, always.